everyone. It is 21 April 2022. Bitcoin at 41,837. Ethereum at $3,083. Litecoin 112. Uh, everything else is looking good. Green, green, green. Some shib is red, but all right, let's get into it. So what am I making mining with my 1.2 approximately giga hash on Ethereum? Well, let's go look. Let's go check it out. All right. Here we go. I am mining on Easel, E-Z-I-L dot me. I am using that mining pool. I was using Ethermine, but then I found out I could use Easel, and it's a little bit less. I think I'm getting free fees for the month I when I clicked and signed up or just when it said I'm getting zero. So that's pretty good. We can always double check. But um, yeah, I'm on the easel.me and I'm actually mining to the easel plus zill mining. I'm not just on pure ETH. I'm getting the zill as well. And uh, that is symbol Z-I-L. And it gives you the price over here. So this is the dashboard. So I'm getting paid out in ETH. I take a payout at point one and it gives you the approximate time to reach the payout limit, which I like. Uh, one of the best dashboards out there for mining pools. I also get rewards in Zill. And you can see here's my minimum payout of 30. So once I hit 30, it goes to my wallet. And once it's in my wallet, I stake it. So it's a win-win right there, baby. Staking is incredible. It's the icing on top, baby. It's just a way to do it. I stake a lot of my stuff. And it's just like dividends. I love dividend stocks. I mostly 99% of the time buy only dividend producing stocks as I want to get rewarded for holding that equity. Same with crypto. I know some people are going to say, well, you need security. Put your crypto in your little, your little wallet, lock it in a safe. I know it's a risk, but I want to stake and I want to get that rewards. I don't know. That's just me right now. The risk reward thing is something you have to deal with personally. For me, I want to get the rewards. Uh, yeah, so I get Zill. If we go over here, it kind of gives you your current hash rate on my rigs, your average. And the best I've seen so far is 1.23. And this is after I've installed and been using the latest T-Rex 0.25.112 with the awesome LHR Unlock software they have out there. Uh, using the same wattage, but getting better hash to get around that horrible NVIDIA LHR blocker. NVIDIA hates crypto miners, guys. Re remember that. But with the software miners are doing their best to crack that LHR thing. So anyway, I'm getting 1.23 at the best I've seen. It fluctuates a little bit, but it's all good. I love this mining pool. It's it's one of the better ones uh, I've been using. So I'm going to stick with it. So let's go over. ETH is at 3081. Kind of gives you what's the market doing today. Uh, Zill as well. So here is your data period uh, for forecasting, what you're going to make, what they estimate. And then there's my Zill extra income at 3.38%. So for 30 minutes, uh, it's showing the uh, period to forecast in the next 30 minutes. For the day, uh, it shows my total is going to be 52.57 a day. They're estimating I will collect 0.0. .0. 16464 Ethereum. And of course, that dollar amount is going to be based and fluctuate on the price of Ethereum. Zill, they estimate, I will collect 21.39 Zill per day. And then again, that is also reflected in the price of Zill. If it goes up, you're going to go up with the daily price, right? Simple. For the week, there you go, 0 0.1, 149 Zill. Again, I get the stake both of these. I'm going to different wallets, different platforms, uh, whatever. I'm going to stake on different ones getting 4%. This one gives me 14%. If I stake Zill, I get 14% staking. And they're estimating that is 368 schmackaroos a week. Uh, this does not count my power bill I got to pay, but oh well, that's another expense. Uh, 30 days, let's see, uh, 0 0.49 ETH which is sad because I know earlier miners were making two ETH a month and it's just amazing how it's changed over a year, year and a half. But it is what it is. I'm glad to get what I can get because I want to ROI my rig so bad. Just want to pay them off. And I hope to, by the end of the year, I should have it all paid off. I'm hoping. 
Uh, estimate on 24 hours is 642 uh, after 30 days uh, to, of zil. And again, that's how many zil to get. They're estimating it could be 1577, you know, $1,500. And it could go up if ETH and zil both go up. So there you go. That's pretty cool. I have not done this yet. Let's click on six hours to see if the price has changed. So we get 52,367. So went down a little bit on the estimates on six hours. Let's see if it goes down in 24 hours. 50, 355. Uh, went down a little bit more. So it gets a little more conservative in value, valuation over time, which is fine. So this is kind of the hopium, the best case. Hey, I'm going to get this a day, but realistically, 24 hours, you're going to make that amount, which is not bad for my set of rigs. I'm not adding to my rigs. Uh, I have enough right now. Again, I'm going to ROI everything. And on the other thing where I am spending money is CPU mining. I will go on eBay and try to get a decent used or open box Ryzen 9 3900 3950 or whatever at a decent price because it's hard to mess up a CPU. Although I did get a used CPU from uh, refurbished from um, Amazon and I did just win a couple weeks ago an eBay 3950 and only on, on, on both ones in this in the case one I got from Amazon they didn't really clean off the thermal paste that great. I had to go and clean that off and it had a bent CPU pin. No big deal. You gently bend it back, right? Uh, same on the eBay one, 3950. Why wasn't the seating in the uh, socket on the on the motherboard? Oh, it had one pin on the inside slightly off and I had to just go, you know, get a pocket knife and a you know, pointy edge and straighten that puppy out. Bam, working, working fine ever since. You get that, but that big deal. If you know what you're doing, you can fix it and you're up and running. So there we go. What can you make with one point? Well, right now, 1.18 reported giga hash. Uh, there's your estimates. So conservative, 1500 bucks a month. And this is with Zill, guys. So this is also on the eZill.me getting Zill rewards. And uh, for the 30 minutes, 52 smackaroos a day and 1564 a month. Again, all dependent upon current market value of Ethereum and Zill. And now add in each month. I'm getting rewards for staking those coins. So it's all good right now. Mining is looking good. GPU mining is looking good. I would not buy hardware because you're not going to ROI. I just do not see how. Especially with the 3090 Ti, they're going, hey, you get 115 mega hash mining ETH, but geez, that is a $2,000 card. And I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. Uh, I don't know. Even I need prices to go below MSRP where scalper prices are the MSRP. You know what I mean? But we're not quite there yet. I'm thinking in a month we're going to see MSRP scalper prices where that is the threshold. And uh, But it's not quite there. People are still trying to hold on to high pricing on eBay and StockX. Uh, so, yeah, just hold off. I mean, hold the line. It's You're not going to ROI. Uh, the good thing about T-Rex Miner is that they improve the unlock, LHR unlock, so you're going to squeeze a little more juice out of your cards, which will, you know, trickle into a little more computational rewards for ETH, Ethereum, or whatever you're mining. But every the gold standard is ETH ash right now, Ethereum. So that's what we're going by. Yep, so there you go. That's what I'm making right now. Uh, as of, what are we, 21, I mentioned the date, 21 April 2022, and uh, yeah, looking good. I'm comfortable with this. I wish it was better, but it's not not adding to the rigs. Just fine-tuning stuff, keeping the heat down, keeping the uh, power wattage usage down, and trying to up the mega hash and find that most efficient spot. Because electricity, like gasoline, is not cheap. Uh, I think I'm at, with taxes and everything, about 13 cents a kilowatt hour. And there are no low periods because sometimes in some states you have after peak hours you get a discount but nope not anymore folks so you got to be efficient and uh, do not spend stuff on the stuff on crypto stuff hardware that's not going to make you money don't go buy fancy rigs fancy gpu risers you don't need that crap use zip ties um use uh wire racks from home depot make a rack out of wood like i showed in my last video seven buck wood rack you want to spend 300 bucks on a on a fancy little GPU rack, they're crazy. If anything, go to riserless motherboards that come out of those Octominers. You just plop the uh, GPUs on the motherboard. No need to buy risers from GPU risers, cables, 
uh, extension cables, and uh, what else? It cuts down on one less power source too. You don't need to power the riser because it's built into the one of those um, the motherboards. You just pop the GPUs right on it. You get up to eight on there. Anyway, ways to save money while making money. So here we are. Things are looking good. And this is just the GPU side of the house. Again, I am also mining CPU and getting paid out in uh, Raptorium. I'm no, I am mining Raptorium and I'm mining. Uh, Pulsar coin. I forgot there for a second. There's too many coins out there. And I want to eventually switch over to getting paid out in Dogecoin because I think Elon Musk is up, up to something really big with the Twitter thing. And he loves Doge. There's something going to happen with Doge, even though it's holding at 14 cents. Let's go check real quick. Doge. This is kind of my watch list. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Doge is down 0.14. NVIDIA is tank. Uh, NVIDIA, I mean... Um, Netflix has fallen off a cliff. So ooh, what's this Doge thing? Elon Musk confirms his support and enthusiasm for Dogecoin one week ago. Okay. It's kind of a crappy app. This is the Apple stock app. It's a piece of crap, but it's simple to bring up, so I use it. But uh, yeah, if you have Netflix, boy, I hope you dumped it because that thing is going to zero. Look at that. Down eight again today. Look at that. That fell off a cliff, and we all know why. Everything goes woke, goes to poop. So that is why. Uh, horrible programming on it. And all they had to do, how could you ruin the streaming stuff? All you have to do is show old cartoons, show old TV shows, show old movies. That's, I mean, that's all I want to watch. I mean, when I say old, pre-2008, you know, and before are the best movies. Everything after that is kind of crap. But show all that stuff. But they, they blow it. They, they totally lost all these subscribers, and it's tanked. Anyway, that is all I got. Kind of went on a rant there. But there's my stocks. Uh, ooh, Starbucks is down again. Not liking that. Okay. And Tesla. Ooh, Tesla's up. They had great earnings. Oh, what are we doing now? Uh, okay. Yeah, not too shabby. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, crypto mine, guys. If you have hardware, T-Rex miner for NVIDIA. And tune it in. Watch your power usage. Manage your heat. And uh, keep mining. Uh, the Ethereum POS is not happening in June. And who knows when it's going to happen. They're not really sure. Making a huge release like that and not upset current users of DeFi, NFTs, all that stuff is going to be very difficult. So they got to get it right. But summer's coming up. Developers are lazy by nature. They don't want to work. They want to take off. And uh, it's going to be hard to get this thing done. So, yeah, we'll see. Having been in software, developers are lazy. And they just want to go and they want to go, you know, enjoy the money and take time off. Some are nerds, but they get burned out and then they become vegetables and useless. Yeah, I've been on both sides of that. It's not a good feeling. So I do not see the uh, Ethereum proof of stake merge, the shadow net. I can see them testing, but I don't see it happening before the end of the year. I may be, oh, but then holidays come up. Yeah, it may not happen until next year. That's my guess. We'll see. Anyway, go forth. Keep mining. Let me know what you guys are up to. Are you mining? Where are you mining? What pool do you like best? I'm trying to learn what are the mining pools out there that are the most successful, most profitable, and give the best perks. So far, I like this one. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you later. I am out. Take care. Blammo.